Okay, we're now looking at the west pediment of this same temple. And whilst it's united by the theme of competition with the east pediment and the metopes, which we'll come on to have a look at a little bit later, which of course is all very appropriate for Olympia as a pan-Hellenic site with athletic games, the solution used to fill the space is very different. We've got the god presiding over a scene of violence solution again, and it's also a lot more active as a scene overall. And in fact, Susan Woodford says that this is the more emotionally richer of the two pediments at Olympia, because it shows the Greeks defending their women against savages. And for you to understand that, I'll need to tell you a little bit about the mythological story that it shows, the Centauromachy, but then also what it was a metaphor for in terms of Greek understanding. So the story goes that the king of the Lapiths, who were a mythological group of people who lived in Thessaly in northern Greece, their king, Perithous, was getting married to a woman called Adamir. And they invited their neighbours, the centaurs, to the wedding. But the centaurs, not being civilised Greeks, didn't know that you're meant to drink your wine watered down. So they drink it neat. A big brawl breaks out at the wedding. And there's a fight between them and the Lapiths. And they try to take the women. In fact, Eurytion tries to carry the bride herself off. So that is the scene that we are seeing here, the, the, the fight at the wedding. And either side of the god Apollo in the centre, we'll talk more about him shortly, are meant to be the hero Perithous and his friend Theseus themselves. And then we've got various groupings of Lapith fighting centaurs and also some Lapith women defending themselves too. Now, if you have a look at the bottom image, uh, this will help explain what this is a metaphor for, this story. So the Greeks in their appearance are shown with the short hair, clean shaven, as opposed to the centaurs that are shown with the long hair, the long beard, uh, the moustache as well. Uh, and also through their behaviour, they're, they're very different, aren't they, as well? Because you can see that whilst the Lapith is quite emotionless and unreactive, despite the fact he's having his arm bitten, the centaurs grimace and are much more brutal and harsh in their body language. So all of this is meant to represent a difference between the Greeks and others, kind of barbarians, and to contrast the Greeks as the superior of the two. Now, if we think about the time period in which this temple was built, we are only a couple of decades after the Persian Wars. And so the centaurs are meant to represent the Persians. And if you have a look in your booklet, when I gave you the lists of qualities of Greeks and qualities of Persians, as given to us by the historian Herodotus, you'll begin to understand this metaphor a bit better. You know, for example, the Greeks are meant to be civilised, reserved, show modesty and control, as opposed to the Persians who are more about excess and this idea of, of hedonism and not being able to kind of control those same urges. And in fact, that might link to why we've got Apollo at the apex as well, because this is actually Zeus's temple, so you might expect to have the god himself at the centre. Now, Apollo is law, god of, sorry, of law and order, but at the same time, he's the god of the sanctuary at Delphi. And the Delphic maxim, one of them, is nothing in excess. And this is a really good case of what happens when this is not actually followed. Finally, I just want to talk about how the action and violence is shown on this particular pediment. So you'll see that there's lots of bodies crossing over one another, which is always a, a way in art of, of showing conflict. But we also get a real sense of pathos or sympathy for the women who are just shown trying to defend themselves. In fact, the woman in the centre there is trying to peel the hand of the centre off her body. And in fact, her breast has been bared. And if we think back to the fact that women are usually very heavily draped in art, you can imagine how shocking this would have been. And this is a theme we'll see taken much further on the frieze of the Temple of Apollo at Bassite, where the women will be kind of fully exposed then by the enemy, by the centaurs.